This free tool is the ultimate solution for secure port forwarding and file sharing. Let's take a look. With this tool, you can expose your local projects or directories over the internet hassle-free. It's the perfect free alternative to ngrock. Unlike the free version of ngrock, here you can set custom subdomains, you can get unlimited session time, and no restriction on concurrent connections. Let's dive in and see what this tool can do. Well, at first let me show you a super cool thing. This is a local directory and this is the link which exposes this directory over the internet so that everybody can see it and if they want, they can download it. If I copy this link, open browser and paste it, then you can see all the files are here. Anybody can download it by clicking here. If you want to open it on your mobile or share it, you can just scan this QR code. This QR code only contains this link. So this is also very useful when you want to share large files over the internet. Let's see how to use this tool. So open any browser and go to loophole.cloud. This is the website of loophole. Go to the download page. You can see that loophole has two options, command line interface and graphical user interface. This is named as CLI and this is named as desktop. So I will recommend you to don't go for desktop version the GUI version because this is very unstable sometimes it doesn't even work I will recommend you to use the CLI version as this is stable and works best so as I am on Windows I will download the Windows 64 bit file let's download it here is the downloaded file it's a zip file you need to unzip it I will unzip here yes so we got it there is loophole.exe if you open it it says that you need to open cmd.exe and run it from there to open cmd in this particular directory type cmd here and hit enter this will open the cmd in this particular directory type dir and see there is loophole.exe type loophole.exe to open the file so this brings the help page you can always check their documentation go to their website and click on the documentation this is great i will recommend you to go through this documentation and you have to do login loophole account login and for logout you have to do loophole account logout as i am already logged in i will actually log out first so i will paste it here loophole account logout and hit enter so i have logged out successfully to log in you have to type loophole account login so i am just copying it and pasting it here loophole account login let me make it bigger loophole account login and hit enter this shows that please open this link and use this code to log in open this in the browser This is it and you have to enter one time code here. This is the one time code. Copy it. Paste it here and click on continue. Confirm and this says your device is now connected. Okay, locked in successfully. As I log out just now and logged in instantly so did not ask me to sign up or log in. If you are doing it for the first time it will ask you for email and password and to sign up so do that now i will show you how can you expose this directory over the internet so that anybody can download the files open the terminal again where you used to log in loophole you do not have to log in again and again you have to log in just once type i will make it big and show you see carefully type loophole space dir space Paste the path of the directory which you want to expose to the internet then space minus minus host name this is for custom subdomain you can skip this part so i am making it cyber riker so this minus minus host name flag is for the custom subdomain then space this is optional minus minus qr this will make a qr for the link and then hit enter see it shows registering your domain you have to allow it 
and boom there is the link this will forward to this will expose the directory over the internet so open a new browser open this link yep there it is you can download it and you can also scan this qr code and open this link in the mobile to see if that works okay to terminate this session you can press ctrl plus c so now this is terminated and if i reload this page now this will not work there is nothing here now i will show you how can you do port forwarding with loophole for free port forwarding is basically exposing your local host to the internet so this is very simple you have to put loophole space http space the port number then some flags so let me start a node.js server to demonstrate this node index.js okay so my local host is ready this is running on port 3000 if i open it it shows that hello world this is a simple message so i want to expose this local host over the internet to do it open the terminal again i want to expose the local host port 3000 over the internet so i am giving the command loophole space http space 3000 okay and to set the host name you can always write minus minus host name space the custom name which you want to give and see there it is copy this and if i go here and open it in a terminal this was the same thing as of the local host you can share it on your mobile and see if this works well that's all if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to comment down your issues and the topic of the next video